low two streams? Yes, sir. Since I'm gonna be doing shorter streams this week, occasionally there will be like bonus streams in the evening. But for subs only. Hi, Vic. I gotta remember to disable some of the channel points. You guys just have to remind me to re-enable them tomorrow. My game froze. It just didn't load. <laughs> Wait, now the music's so soft. <sighs> okay. Basic amount of three to one. Just kidding, PNG tuber. Guys, peace out to Golden Chat. Um, I am live from my bed. Yes, my bed. I streamed earlier today until like ten. I've been editing all day, and I'm done for the day. I got a bunch of clips made, so I'm I'm I got enough clips through part of October now. So I want to try and get. As much done as I can during September to prep for October and November. But yeah, I'm live from my bed. So if audio sounds different today, that's why I'm like, I'm literally laying in my bed. <laughs> um, but yeah. Hi, Kim. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Also, Kim, I was stupid. I, I you know, the special painting I made for the launch, I forgot to mail it. <laughs> So, I got your paintings right now. I'm glad they- did they arrive safely? Because I think the envelopes were too thick. Because, you know, I have intel that, uh, because a lot of processing plants use, um, what you call it? I'm suing? Wait, for what? Oh, they're good? Okay. I got some secret intel. You know, I have had friends work for the USPS. And they said the mail sorters, you can look up videos on YouTube, but they said any big envelopes and envelopes that are, that are, uh, thick will either not get processed properly or the machines will just tear them up. I was like, oh shit. Wanna pick? Sure, go for it. 
Uh, just make sure to submit a review when you get that email. Smile. Um, yeah, so I will mail your special painting tomorrow. Because <laughs> I was clearing off my desk, and I found it. I was like, shit, <laughs> I thought I mailed it. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad they arrived safely, Kim. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so I'm lying from my bed. I've been editing all day. I'm done working for today. But you know what? I promised chat I would do sub only stream and I'm here. Why is the music so low? There we go. We're back. So the plan is simple. I'm going to play Mario Kart because I've been watching so much of Elwig and Sea Dog play for their Lovers vs. the World Challenge. And I really want to play Mario Kart. I've been like itching to play. I, had, I haven't really had a chance to sit down and play for a while. And just looking at my online rank, <laughs> that was my rank. Oh no! Wait, no! I was seven thousand seven hundred. Oh no! I thought I was still at eight k. What happened to me? Oh no! So I did say. Wait, was my New Year's resolution to get 10k and Mario Kart? Oh no, did I say that? Am I stupid? Wait, I need to check the clips channel. Okay, if I if I lay like this, can you guys still hear me okay? Let's see, view channel. Peace in 17 clips. Yes, chill. I mean cool. Playlist? Well, oh, I didn't make a playlist for reviews. Shit. Wait, how do I search? I wish they had the function where you could still, like, search specific words on a YouTube channel. They don't have it on mobile anymore. Oh, right here. Wait, wait, that's so weird. You know in people's YouTube channels, it has, like, the For You section? Literally, the top suggested video for my For You is Peace Sins 2024 New Year's Resolutions. Wait, I think they're listening to me. Okay, let's skip ahead. 10 plays? Oh wait, I didn't! <laughs> I didn't want it to be my New Year's Resolution. I mean, technically, I already hit my I lost 20 pounds this year, W. You know, we weighed myself this morning. And I got, what, fucking 93 pounds, and I was surprised, because I I literally weighed 95 yesterday. No! But I got on the scale, like, when I hit stream, and it was correct, I weighed 93.3. Like, what is going on? Okay, I'm locked in. Wait, maybe my internet is bad. Or maybe this is a- It's not a dead game. Sky High Sunday is hands down my best track. Guys, get in here. Stream snipe me. Try it. See what happens. <laughs> not like it. I can't imagine. Being stream sniped. Like, what sucker is actually gonna do it? And then also, like- actually get in your lobby like it's hard okay i have my mouse on my on my sheets let's cross my fingers i don't hit end stream by accident oh. wait is mario kart a dead game <laughs> wait okay i remember seeing this one clip about like Iron Mouse talking about how most days she streams from her bed, but honestly, wait, I okay, I know she's like disabled, so she kind of has to stream from her bed, but not gonna lie, <laughs> this is kind of nice. I'm comfy. I got my weighted blanket. The only bad thing is. Is what the current camera setup for the the Wii Fit stream? 
Because my TV's on, like, a rotating mount. Because I have my TV in, like, the middle of my room. Because I have my stream set up in one quadrant and my bed in the opposite, like, diagonal quadrant. That way, when I rotate my TV, I can still see it. But with the Wii setup, um, my tripod literally blocks half my TV screen. So if I'm bad today, it's because literally my camera is blocking my screen. This is not a good start, fourth place. Also, I will not be editing the stream, so guys, say whatever you want. Okay, watch this. I didn't even go up a place! I think did some did Wario DC talking about DC is it kind of bad that like I want to go see Deadpool again I also kind of want to see the new Transformers movie mainly because the trailer made it look kind of fun and like visually it looks stunt but I don't I legit have never seen a Transformer movie. All I know is that Megan Fox was in one of them, and I think she's pretty cool. Wait, was she in one of them? Wait, am I thinking of the right actress? But I kind of want to see it. I was going to see it over the weekend, but apparently it came out last Friday, so like I kind of missed my shot. Because, you know, we hate big business at all. We hate big Hollywood. But a lot of their, like, how do I explain? Like, a lot of their, like, success is deemed on how well they perform opening weekend. Oh my god! Like, how everybody was ranting and raving about the Spookable Me 4s and Inside Out 2's opening box ratings. Jackass. I'll take a fourth. I don't know if I'll rank up though, because there's only six people here. Or seven. Plus four. Plus four. Yeah, so like, I was gonna see it this week, but I don't think I'll have time. Cheap, cheap beach, and I literally win. Wait, is Mario a dead game? What's going on? Wait, what, what is happening? Wait, it, it's like 3 p.m. This is when all the kids are like coming home from school. Uh-oh. No, you know what it is? Everybody saw me in the lobby and they got scared. You know, they join, they see me, they start shaking in their boots, and then they dip. You know what's wild? <clears throat> Ever since I've been exercising more, like in general, and then doing the fitness streams, I've been craving more fast food. And th that's not what it's what's supposed to happen. Right? Well, there's literally only five people. Um, okay, I'm locked in. I'm not gonna look at chat. No bad words, okay? Oh my god, first place clippers. Your mom? Mod? You know what to do. Save. As always, I keep my coin in hand. Banana in my second slot in case I get ghosted. Wait, I'm kinda... 
crack. My lands aren't good, but... Wait, I'm scared! <laughs> I can never look behind. I hate watching, like, pro Mario Kart players play, because all they do is that, and it... I don't have, like, a... Oh, Kaleen! I don't have, like, a confirmed visual, like, sensitivity. I don't have, um, epilepsy. But I think I might. It's <laughs> so just like, fuck! Oh my god, there's a banana! I didn't even see it, because literally my camera is blocking the screen. Wait. Killer lineup, coin and banana. Jackass. Oh, I wanted to hit him. <gasps> Wait, why did the red shield target him? I'll take it. Double banana? I'm gonna go bananas. <laughs> Jackass? Oh my god. No, dude! I know you guys can't see me right now, but I'm literally crying. And pissing and shitting. Sky Garden. Dude, what is going on? Everybody's leaving! Oh, wait. Oh, no. My goal today is to get at least 78.50. So, gain 100 rank. The kids gotta go eat dinner. <laughs> Mom, it's an online game. I can't leave right now. Does it look like I care? <laughs> I spent four hours making dinner. You know, I love a hot meal. But there are some days where I don't want to eat at the same time. And my sister's the same way, that way it's so much better when I just, like, cook in the morning and then she can eat whenever she wants. Because literally every single time I would try and make, like, a hot dinner at around dinner time, she would never be, like, hungry. Shit. <laughs> Wait, watch this, watch this. Ooh, Kaleen! Fuck, I thought it was a banana peel. Jerk, literally, why would you throw the fire behind you? That's such a dick move. I'm gonna scream. I hope this hits you in the air, jerk. Plus one.
It's giving Drake Bell in Mexico? What are you talking about? Also, I need to make chat bigger. I can't fucking see. Guys, I'm live from my bed. Also, hi, Ethan. DUI? Didn't Justin Timberlake just get arrested for that? Romavanti, because I hate everybody else in this lobby. You know, I'll say it. JT really fell off after he made the Trolls soundtrack. I should have used him. Yeah, keep up with your pop culture references. Also, hi, Ethan. Try to stream snipe me right now and see what happens. Let's do another take? Okay. Yeah. Why does it keep picking my tricks? Dude, my uncle works at Nintendo. Oh no, I'm scared. It's a full lobby. Grits Vivo? What is that account? <laughs> you know what's actually really, really funny? So my camera tripod is blocking my TV, and then also my ring light is blocking my TV right now from my bed. And literally the ring light can perfectly blocks my character in the car. Like for the past two weeks that we've been doing Wii streams, I literally haven't been able to watch TV at night. You know what, I sacrifice a lot for chat. Wait, I'm in first clippers? I was feeling great! <laughs> For some reason I thought I had to go to the right. Oh my god, oh my god. Ain't no way fourth place. It's giving Justin to like, oh my god, you're so funny. Even though that was technically my joke that I set you up for. Ah! Oh shit, I, I thought I stole the boomerang! Locked in. No wait, no, no, Clint, no. Guys, I, I'm racing. I can't read chat right now. I can't see my TV. I can't see chat. This is the worst day ever. <laughs> I'm not sick. I'm just tired. Also, guys, get your vaccines. That is not a hashtag ad. I just don't want you to get. I don't, <laughs> I don't want you guys to do like get other people sick. What in tarnation? Genuinely, I've never fallen in that fountain, and I've fallen for every single one of your mo mothers. Mac yelled at me to get it? Wait, W Mac. W Mac. Wait, you clipped it, Kim? That's so mean. Don't expose me. You said we could do another take. Yeah, I did, but that doesn't mean I'll, like, respect it. Sorry, like, I have to scroll up to recheck. Because literally, <laughs> literally, I have my... My mod view zoomed in at 175%. So I can only read- wait, let me count. Two- wait, stop, don't move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven- I can only read seven lines of chat, and your guys' usernames take up an entire line. So that means I can only read three chat messages at a time. 
Did I listen to the new Andrew Tate song? No, I did not. I don't support him. <laughs> I don't listen to music. I legitimately only listen to a few artists and only their songs. I'm a I'm a stan. Wait, literally, why does he keep picking my tracks? I lied earlier, my uncle does not work for Nintendo. I didn't know this. My uncle worked at a very prominent graphic design studio. And I only learned this like a year ago. Why wasn't I a Nepo baby? And before anybody asks, no, I would not work for his company because he lives in Hawaii. But he worked remotely. So like, the company is based somewhere in the States. Oh my god, first place flippers. You know, I can get first really easily in the first lap and then everything just goes downhill. God set up coin and a banana. You know, I always diss excite bike. And this one, this track is literally just like Excite Bike. I'm so good at Sunday Fun Day. <laughs> or whatever this track is called. But I'm ass at Excite Bike. I think it's because it's just a huge mental hurdle. Also, I'm locked in. I'm not reading chat. I'm sorry. I'm scamming. Excite Bike is way better than this. You're so wrong. You know, Ethan, you leave comments on my Tic Tacs all the time, and they're funny. And I think I left one reply where it was like, click go live right now and do this, or something. I really wish you would try that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing because I almost fell off. Wait, I'm- oh my god, I'm so far ahead. I was tempted. It would have been a really funny bit. Because, Ethan, this is a sub-only stream, so you cannot leak this. This will be our little secret between us and then everybody else who's watching right now. And those who watch on the YouTube VOD channel later. But, I haven't watched any of your content. Because, you know, I don't watch viewers' shit. But your titles are always the same. Like, just looking at the title, they're all the fucking same! You know, spice it up. No! Don't you dare fucking do this to me! I need this. I need this. W's in chat. Plus 25. God damn. 25 points is a lot. Holy shit. It's usually only 15 for a win. I didn't see the rank of everybody else in this lobby. I've only really been paying attention to names. DK Jungle or Water Park, and I literally win. I made a really good joke, but it got auto-modded. It didn't even get modded, it just got instantly deleted, so that means you said a slur. Nah, I've been saying this from the jump. The only people who watch, like, less than five viewer streamers are other streamers or people who want a personal connection. He said he hates gay! <laughs> um, no slander in the chat. <laughs> I saw it. No, you did not. No, you did not. You're not a mod. What? Wait, legitimately, it's picked my track five times in a row. Wait, what is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Wait, what if you guys are secretly Twitch staffers? Wait, I'm scared. Are you guys gonna hack into my webcam just like the knock function? Anyway, I'm locked in. Guys, can we get two wins in a row? 
in a row, put your gambles in chat right now. If I don't get first again, I will scream, and if I do, everybody has to cheer a million bits. Please and thank you. You are such a jackass. Love this map, me too. This was, like, top three on the week. Ooh, lucky I didn't hit a shell. I was feeling naughty. I played just to impress, it's so fun. Oh my god! Jack is literally stream snapping me right now. Is this what you fuckers? I don't know. I said this on stream when I played just to impress, but like, it's really fucking boring. Like, there's no stakes, really. I think the reason why I love Mario Kart so much is because it kind of feels like gambling. And I say that having never gambled in my whole life. But you don't really know what's going to happen to the very end. I lost a lot of acceleration. I definitely think Just to Impress is more fun when you play in like a VC with your friends. But like, I don't have friends who like gay shit. <laughs> In, like, a fun way, not a mean way. Like, all my friends who are queer don't play games. And all my friends who play games are like, OH MY FUCKING GOD! All my friends that do play games are like the crustiest people you'll ever meet. Okay, also, I, I can't read chat. This is too much. I'm getting overwhelmed. Wait! First place! Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't know why I spanned all my items. I'm literally so fucking stupid. Can everybody who's stream sniping politely stop moving? Thank you. Short-lived first place? Yeah. I'll take a third, though. I'll take it. Wait, what did I say I would do if I didn't get first again? I said I would scream. Um, uh, I don't want to scream, like, for real. Because everybody's home right now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm catching up on shit. <laughs> the stakes of playing just to impress is being made fun of. Well, I play Roblox without the chat on because I don't want to, like, talk to kids. So, I just turn it on. I had to check out Ethan's channel to make sure they want a middle score? No, I think Ethan said they're older. I think... You said you're, like, 26, right? Now, I think since last year, I think Twitch has a new age verification thing. So, it's my assumption now that anybody chatting is at least 13, hopefully. so bad. Well, it's probably better to go to the right. I keep forgetting.
Wait, I'm doing- Oh my god! I literally was gonna say I'm doing so good right now with my item usage. Which one of you guys in chat is Dana? Fess up right now. I need to know. Or Danny. Oh, I, I thought that was a, a show. Okay, still top three, still top three. Dude, everybody's trying to clap me with banana peels. Don't they know that I'm like fucking gay? Ooh, that would have been a six night. such an asshole. I know they were waiting for me to pass. Which one of you is Danny? Which one? <clears throat> okay, I'm reading chat now. You said you wouldn't play horror games, but it would be funnier if you did, because you're scared of it. Yeah. But, isn't, like, playing horror games bad? Like, what if I legit have a heart attack on stream? Like, that's scary. I think I've only played, uh, like, two or three horror games on stream. I don't know what game I want to play this year. But I'm just scared that I'll, like, freak out too much. I get nightmares! But let's be honest, I have nightmares every night, so like, why does it even fucking matter? I'm Danny. That's so rude of you. There's Pokemon trivia in my area today and nobody will come with me? You don't got a Pokemon date? Imagine. Pokemon trivia. <laughs> you know, everybody who's gonna go to that is gonna be kids or like just millennials. Yeah, go alone. Go for it. Maybe you'll find like a sugar mama or daddy. I don't know. Oh, I ruined my joke. Mean. You know, there's no shame in going to events alone. Because if you go by yourself, then you only have to worry about yourself and not if your friend or partner or date is enjoying the experience. So then you can fully, like, be grounded in the moment. You know, go to Applebee's by yourself. Go to a coffee shop by yourself. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, I'm doing good. My Pokemon partner has a partner? Wait, is this the person you were talking about being a homewrecker with? Be honest. <laughs> Wait, guys, I'm kinda like locked in right now. First place? Holy shit. Wait, did, did somebody say something bad? Guys, you know I can't reach out right now. I'm not gonna do some of these streams if you guys are gonna act up. Do you like that friend, Ethan? <gasps> Drama! Oh my fucking god! I'm so angry.
I literally had first. I literally had first. And I'm back in it. Ooh, a ghost is interesting. You know, I'm the one who usually does the ghosting. Give me a triple shroom right now. Oh, that's fine. It's safe for me for me to hold the banana at this point. <laughs> I peed the fifth? Why'd you say that? You can't say that in the chat. You can't say that word here. We're friends on Pokemon Go. my limits from Automod? <laughs> I guess you're right. I should make that word a blocked word. I'll do it now. I'll get up from my bed. Why so quiet? Oh, can you not hear me? Should I start yelling? Oh, it's Sky High Sunday again. Guys, I'm live from my bed. Okay, we have a new blocked word, everybody. <clears throat> I only friend real people, like, I know on Pokemon Go. I don't even- I assume my account is still active, but like, I haven't played in like two years. Oh my god, first place Clippers. <clears throat> he was just talking about himself. It's always about you guys, isn't it? It's never about me. <clears throat> Almost through. Feeling evil? <laughs> I'm so evil. Okay, third. How did I lose two places? That's insane. CG online? No. Plus, I think a chatter said that got discontinued like a year ago or something. Unless they made a different version. Shit. <clears throat> the only Pokemon games I've played has been Emerald, Unite, Go, Violet, and Sword. But I have since returned both Sword and Violet, because they were boring as shit. Oh yeah, I played Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, and I really wish I didn't return to the store because I was watching Alfred's video of where he tried to find, like, or he tried to beat the game with only Shinies, and he did it. Because apparently Pokemon Let's Go has, like, a huge... Like, you can kind of hack the system and get a fuck ton of Shinies. So I was like, shit, I kind of want to do that too. Eighth place, come on, peace in. I still got 10 points. I'm up 100 points today. My goal is to get 78.50. And I'm literally 11 points away. But hi, welcome back, Vic. Wait, I literally got a first place earlier. You missed it. 
Wow, what a good job. Stop patronizing me. Stop. <laughs> I'm actually, like, playing really well today. My win rate? It only took me 20 minutes to get a first, which is crazy good. <clears throat> You know what? I want you to click go live right now and get a first in Mario Kart in 10 minutes. I did not lie about getting first! I was being sincere, but you know what? I get it. I apologize for my past comments. I sincere everybody at Peace and Incorporated. Peace in Art SSP apologizes. Peace in so defensive? Yeah! I literally got a first earlier. And you guys didn't even back me up. We had somebody in chat just now a clip. Peace in lies about getting first. You guys are always against me, besides the time that you're for me. Now I'm goofing. You know, I can't be fostering a negative community when I'm so small. Wait, what's this guy's name in front of me? Is, is that- is that bad? Swap out the J for an H? Uh oh. Wait, watch this. Can lean. I got double banana. <laughs> Sub Ethan? Your first time ever gifting? What the hell? Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Can we get some Weathens in chat? Thank you. I always gift? No, it literally says in the chat that this is your first time gifting to the channel. You're literally lying. Do you think I'm stupid? Wait, don't be on. Don't answer that. Wait, I protected myself from my own green shell. I'm so smart. Wait, you're the top gifter? That does not seem right. It was worth a try to lie. You know what I think about liars. Oh my god! <laughs> you think that liars are cute? No. Because that's what I think. Wait, look at that. I'm four points away from my daily goal. I think liars should do some self-evaluating and practice self-love. That way they feel more self-confident to where they don't need to lie anymore. Animal Crossing and I win. But why did you gift Ethan? Like, and I'm, I'm asking to be serious. Like, what made you decide to... I almost said take the hit, but... <laughs> Clip be- don't be a liar. But it was actually a good quote. Giving back some of the top Clipper gift card money? Well, thank you for choosing to give it back to me. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna sit up in my bed so I can see my TV better.
If I get first in this track right now, I will stop shooting on Excite Bike. DMs too? I did not say that in DMs. I've only said that publicly. Wait, did I? No, I didn't. I didn't. I will look at my Twitch whispers right after this race. You're lying. I did not tell you to give it back to me in DMs. I'm joking? Okay, I got really scared I did. <laughs> oh my god! I know I didn't. I just said it on stream. This is why I don't DM viewers. You never know how they'll act, like... I've been thinking about this. And I think the best bits of all time that I've seen on stream... My favorites being, like, Jerma or Connery's Pants. I was thinking about it a while ago, like a few weeks ago, and the reason why their bits are so good is just because they're lying. Like, the joke is that they're telling or doing like a bombastic lie. I don't get why it's so funny, but it's just funny. Okay, I'm losing. Nintendo, if you're listening, give me two stars. Minus nine? Fuck. Also, I got. Uh -huh. All right, bag. My sister wants something. Put your favorite emote in chat. <laughs> I'm thinking of time has passed. That is why I asked about home wrecking. Clippers. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm back. Hello. Look at the three ERs and the top gifters for August. I know it's so cringe how you gaslit and indoctrinated everyone. You know, let's change characters. Pink Rose Peach, I know she's cringe, but you know what? I don't care. 
I'm locked in. Guys, who thinks I'll get another first? Also, can you change POV? Oh my god. If I press A, you can change POV. I want winner's POV. I never knew that. <gasps> oh, he tried to go backwards with the blue shell and it didn't work. I feel like your meanest viewer. No. I think the mean viewers I just banned. I don't think anybody's been like outwardly mean, mean. Because for the most part, I can tell when you guys are joking. I feel like we as chat would bully a mean person. Yeah, you guys would. You got especially you and Ethan, you guys both would. <laughs> The rules still go. If there's somebody acting up, just ignore them. Because more often than not, if I genuinely feel like somebody's being mean, I will either delete it right away, or I will pretend to be clueless and not understand what they're saying. Because people just want a negative reaction. So deleting it, Obviously, it gives them no attention, and then being clueless is just funny. Not you exposing your strats? I mean, it's a sub only stream. And let's be honest, nobody watches the YouTube VOD channel, so this is the worst Wimbo Road, by the way. No, it's not, it's so fun. This track is literally made for an inside your bike. Oh, no items. Guys, clippers, first place. Dude, no items! I'm... I threw. I try to overcorrect my line. It's not bad, it's just the other Rainbow Roads are more iconic. I think this is the most fun Rainbow Road. Or no, the Wii one is the most fun, because I think that is the most dynamic Rainbow Road track. But this one is fun because you have to be locked in the whole time. Like, this one requires a lot of concentration. I should not have hit that. Oh my god. I'm tired. It just seems like everybody's out to get me. Okay, first is right here.
Oh, I just realized I had the triple trim, I could have taken the shortcut. Literally wasted your red shell, my guy. I could have gotten him. Yoshi's Island and I win. I really need a win right now. W. Oh, I'm 16 points away. Could you hate Pokemon Violet? Because it was boring. Also, there was like too much to do in the game. I felt overwhelmed very quickly. I'm locked in. But you like Animal Crossing? I don't know if I would have enjoyed Animal Crossing if it came out, like, not during the start of the lockdowns and restrictions. Like, Animal Crossing came out at the right time, I think. 
Like, everybody needed that comfort. <gasps> that was an insane green shell snap right there. Guys, first place? If I get first place, everybody has to Twitch Prime. Coin not ideal. Double item box, switch for something better. Really lucky. Lost my acceleration. It's probably my safest bet to hold on to this banana. Oh, fuck me! No! No! Hi, Kobobo. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Dude! I threw! When did Tsushima come out? I know the PC version just launched. Man, I'm so upset. That was a horrible throw. I got greedy. did come out in 2020. Man, I thought it came out earlier than that. Damn. I played Tsushima with my sister, mostly. Man, I'm so upset. I fucked that up. What's my rank? Did y'all cry playing the game? No, we're not wimps. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, that probably is a spoiler. would make the Vabum go away, but it, it didn't. God damn it. this game. No, I don't. I love Mario Kart. I just hate losing.
Guys, what should I have for dinner? Should I have chipotle bowl but at home? Or broccoli soup? Both sound really good. If I choose broccoli soup, I just gotta heat it up. But if I choose chipotle bowl, I gotta cook my chicken. Does not gonna lie. When I started buying like organic, free range chicken, it tastes so much better. The soup, the soup does sound pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. Because if I have like dinner before 6 p.m., I'll have like a heavier dinner. So something that's very carb heavy just to like get me through the rest of the day. Oh my god, my game glitched. What the hell? That sounds like a Reddit story time. A stranger online said they would Uber Eats for me something, so I gave them my address and then they blackmailed me. Okay, you're joking. Thank goodness you're joking, because I was legit just about to call you a dumbass bitch. <laughs> like you can't be sending any of your personal information online anymore. Like, you know those scams where, like, people will pose as your bank? Like, that's insane. I don't trust nobody nowadays. With AI, too? I remember seeing- OH MY FUCKING GOD! <gasps> I remember seeing news stories of, like, scammers making AI voices of your family members, and then they would pretend to be your family members and be like, Oh my god, I got kidnapped from this country, send me $10,000 right now or they'll kill me. Like, it's insane what scammers can and will do. But you know what? I'll say it. If you fall for said scams, you're either really kind, but you're super gullible, man. Okay, I'm throwing. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, if I eat dinner before 6, I will have a slightly heavier meal. But if I eat dinner after 6, I have a light meal. Okay, Ethan, your message is longer than 7 lines long, so I can't read it. <laughs> oh, that's big, sorry. I'll never forget the time I was on a Minecraft server at like 10 years old and someone spammed my address in the chat. Wait, what the fuck? That's scary. That's scary. Wait, as a child, that's scary. I'm sorry that happened. <laughs> Wait, so you can't read Vic's seven line message but not mine? I mean, Vic is a tier 2 sub. Of course they get special privileges. And as you guys know, tier 3s get like, extra, extra privileges. Maybe it was their friend pranking them? It could- I don't- I don't know. It could be, but like, what friend would do that? She called you chief? Wait, who disappeared themselves? Who disappeared themselves? Oh, I thought somebody deleted their messages. My mod view is bugging. Guys, I'm locked in. You guys ever, like, sit with a pillow on your lap? That's the end of the sentence. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing Mario I'm locked in. One pill in my apartment? That's such a, like a boy thing to do. Isn't it like the cliche that gir that girlies have like three pillows, ten stuffed animals, and you have to like face the stuffed animals away when you smash? When <laughs> people spend the night, I give them the you folks.
Please, please, please. Hey, you're calling me out? God. Hi, Mars. Welcome in. Ignore the number on the bottom right of the screen. I'm only repping that number because I love the Seahawks. Number 12. The Hi, Mars. I'm losing my mind. Also, I don't actually do the stuffed animals joke because I don't have any plushies like that. Plus, I don't have people spend the night. Besides your mother's, and she likes to have people watch. I mean... <laughs> there is no 12? No, but they call their fans the 12th player, or the 12th man. Is, isn't there like fucking 11 people on a team? I don't fucking know. Do, do I look like a somebody who enjoys sports? Look at me. I'm gold. And me. Oh! I'm locked in. <laughs> I made Mac move my plushies <laughs> for lunch. <laughs> I moved my plushies to a part of the desk where it can look. <laughs> oh my god. Luck can't fix skill, apparently. Ethan, I want you to click go live the next time you have the chance to and play Mario Kart until you get three firsts in a row. And if you can't, I want you to never talk shit again in my chat. Also, somebody got auto-modded. Oh. It was Vic saying that's a fucked up prank. Talking about their Minecraft experience. Yes, I agree. That is fucked up. But y you know that you can't say bad words in my chat. <clears throat> Way to call it my- I'm- but I always call out people who get automated because it's part of the joke. It's my birthday soon. I want to play Coco Squishmallow. Aren't we, like, canceling Squishmallow? Because, you know, we love Palestine. <laughs> I only have one Squishmallow in my household, and it's my sister's. And it's this Halloween-themed cat Squishmallow that I got last year. Like, right before all the conflict happened. <laughs> so, so, you know, I'm still kind of woke. So we can talk about stuffed animals watching during the deed, but I can't say bad words. Yeah, it's because YouTube's AI, in order to, like, flag content, has gotten so good where it'll like auto demonetize your video if it sees swear words with like in your fucking chat. What's up with your release? Okay, so big drama update. I deleted the tweet because I didn't want any future or potential employer like finding that tweet and making it seem that I'm potentially like um desperate, but like I kind of am. <gasps> so what happened was was it Monday or Tuesday? So, one day, it was like the middle of the day, and my roommate, he texts me. He's like, hey, we're probably not going to be able to extend your lease. And I was like, okay, shit, we're kind of fucked. Because no matter where you live anywhere, it's expensive as shit. Even if you're just getting like... Like, I was looking up prices for like places like in my area. And like, to get a shitty 400 square foot studio, Nine hundred dollars. It's crazy. And ain't no way me and my sister can squeeze in that. You know, I got a stream. So... 
we were like, okay, well, tell my sister when she gets home from work. We tell her when she gets home, my sister freaks out, I freak out. Because, like, the whole rest of the day, I'm, like, losing my mind. So I'm like, fuck, fuck! Like, what can I do? Like, what job can I possibly do that can, like, accommodate most of the things I need? Because, as you guys know, I'm disabled, but I'm not, like, visually or severely handicapped yet. So there's a handful of jobs that I can do, but then also, like, some that'll be very difficult for me. Hi, Electra! Can we get some yo's? So, me and my sister stay up really late that night looking up places, figuring out what jobs I could do, and then... Wait, it's lap three. I'm too busy yapping. And then the next morning, my roommate pulls us on side and he's like, Hey, actually, my parents changed their mind and they're not going to either themselves move in or have family move, move in next year. They'll wait till 26. And I was like, okay, thank you. But like, you, you, you could have waited to tell us before it was like concrete. Like, you didn't have to, like, I understand you're trying to be nice and, like, kind and give us a heads up. Because it was either we'd have to be out by November or March, is what he said. So, like I said, he came back to us the next morning was like, hey, actually, they said they're not going to move in this year or not till 26. So, I was like, okay, thank you for, like, telling us, but, like, you could have, like, just waited a fucking day. Like, you didn't have to... Make me have literal constant panic attack after a panic attack for six hours. Like, y you could have just like waited. Your parents should have told you not them. Yes. In order for, uh, do they watch the stream? No, they used to. They used to give me their prime sub, but then my roommate who works a lot, so he has a pretty good job. But anyway, so TLDR, we should be fine for one more year. We got one more year. Because uh, we're renting out a place that our friend's parents own. So obviously they know us, we're friendly, and they understand our situation. Like, they know that, like, I'm disabled. They know that I might not be able to work for a long time. They know that I need medical procedures soon. So, and they also know that, like, my sister is autistic. So it's kind of like... It... It's not that they feel guilty, it's just they know our situation and they know that we would not be able to thrive in many places. And if anybody has been at risk of like homelessness or had to seek out like local resources for homelessness related issues, it's very hard to get resources when you're in that transitional period. Like obviously if you are currently unhoused, there's a lot more funding Granted, very little, but a lot of funding for if you need, like, immediate housing, immediate shelter, or, like, immediate food resources. But you're- if you're in that margin where my sister and I are, where, like, we're disabled but not, like, crippled enough, or, like, she's autistic but, like, able to still, like, have a job. She, like, she's part of the lucky 15% whose symptoms are manageable enough to where she can- participate in like daily things that atypical people can do there's just not a lot of resources for those who are somewhat capable and it shouldn't be like that like i personally believe that everybody should be entitled to housing everybody should have ubi like nobody should have to struggle to have their basic needs like basic rights like i grew up i've always thought this way i grew up knowing and learning that you had certain rights. These are rights in, rights in terms of things that you need to survive. So like housing, food, shelter. Like those are things you need to live. And those are things the government should provide for you. It doesn't matter if you hate socialism. It doesn't matter if you love capitalism. You should love the people around you. And providing basic things is a kind, loving thing that the government should do. Anyway, what was my main point? TLDR, me and my sister, we should be fine. And obviously, there will come a point where Peason will have to get a real job. Like, that was very real and true. Because it's actually crazy. My sister, I obviously can't leak where she works. 
but whenever she has X amount of seniority with her company, um, she gets like a $5 raise whenever she hits like a certain benchmark. And let me just say, she'll hit that benchmark by next year. So if she and I can wait till next year, then we'll be fine because she'd be making an extra $600 a month. That's why, guys, and like we told this to our our friend's dad and he was like, oh yeah, sure, we'll wait another year. Um, like $5 an hour is a crazy raise. That's also why it's very important for those of you who have a decent amount of seniority with your company or if you are looking for a new job. If you have an existing job and you have X amount of seniority already, try ask for a raise. What's the worst they can do? I was gonna say fire you, which yeah, they could, but legally they can't. If, if you believe your employer has fired you for asking for a raise, that's something you can report to your, um, ah! your OSHA office <laughs> or like your, your county or your state's like labor rights unions or sorry, organizations, not unions. And then also, if you are looking for new employment, see if they have incentive based raises or bonuses, if that is an option. And also, this is something that you can like... I don't know if you can like ask for this, but try to look for companies that either give you raises based on merit or incentive. So like if you have this amount of hours or seniority within the company, you get 50 cents to a dollar more. If you have this amount of skills you learn, you get X amount more. Um, another thing you can do is if you are currently looking for a new job and they're offering you like an actual offer, um, depending on what the requirements for the job are, you can ask for more. You can ask for more. I know in Washington State, companies are legally required on their job listings to put salary or hourly income wage on the actual job descriptions. So let's say, for example, um, you're applying to like a, uh, like to manage a McDonald's. It'll say on the job listing, I don't know what the actual rates are, but like let's say 50 to 70k salary annual for a management position. So you can ask them at the interview. Be like, hey, I noticed on the application it said the salary range is 50 to 70K. Can I ask you like what requirements or what the timeline is for those, those raise and bonus increases? And if you have a degree, fuck! And if you are applying for a job that says um, no degree required, but degree preferred, you can ask at the interview table or whenever you get a job offer and you're negotiating um, wages, you can ask them, hey, I have a lot of the preferred skills that are not required, I have a degree, like, can I get an extra starting wage of 50 cents to a dollar more? You know, what's the worst they can say? They can just say no. And also, if you bring that up at like the bargaining deal when they offer you a job, it shows that you are more invested in the establishment or company, because if you ask them what is like starting versus seniority wages looking like, if you ask them for a higher wage from the jump, it shows that you're confident. It shows that you personally will stay at their company for longer. You know, I got... It's, it sucks! Because I know all this shit I have to say. So, like, I know if I get an interview, I will get it. I think the last time... Mm. The last time I, like, actually talked to a potential employer was a local print shop back in January. Now, I posted on Twitter about this a little bit, but I didn't share a lot of minute details. But, um... Because, like, I went to a print shop and they said, oh, we're looking for a new designer. But, like, they didn't have, like, an online application or anything, so they weren't, like, officially hiring. And that's called the hidden job market. Guys, sometimes all I gotta do is fucking walk in and ask if they need somebody. You know? Why not? So, anyway... This local print shop was like, oh, we actually need a, a designer. Because um, the person who had previously, like, designed flyers and stuff had retired. I was like, oh, shit. And they are like, yeah, they retired, like, two weeks ago. I was like, oh, shit. So I was like, you know what? I can do it. And, like, I had, like, just a casual, like, meeting slash interview. And then he's like, I really like you. He's like, I like your portfolio. I'm like, cool. And he's like, oh, can you, like, send me your, like, rates and stuff? later and I was like okay cool now the problem is 
When people think jobs, they think of like traditional employment, meaning your employer tells you to be at work from nine to five, five days a week. So that's traditional employee, like you get a W-2. And those are a lot easier to manage. But then there's also um, freelance or contracted labor. Now, if you live in the States, if you are a contracted laborer, you have a lot less rights. Oh, I wasn't looking! <laughs> so, there are some benefits to contract work or freelance. Like, you can choose your own hours. You're, the person you're contracted to work with cannot legally tell you to work X amount of hours in a week. They can have, like, deliverables and expectations so they can be like, oh, um, if you're gonna edit for me, I want one video every week and I want two Tic Tacs every week. But they cannot tell you to have a scheduled set amount of hours. Because the moment an employer tells you to show up for work at this time and this day, um, then you're considered an employee. If you're a contractor, you're supposed to choose how much your labor costs. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. So, if you're a contracted worker, why is this guy throwing fire behind him? I'm literally in 10th place. You're such a jacket. Yeah, so if you're a contracted laborer, you can choose how much you charge hourly or project-based work. So that's why when you ever, whenever you have like a plumber come visit your apartment, they can charge however much the fuck they want. Because they are offering you a skilled trade and you're paying for a service. There's also a lot of exploitation in the contract work scene. But you know. Anyway, so just a little background. There's huge difference. And if you feel as if you're an employer being treated like a contractor, or a contractor being treated like an employee, report it to your local, um, labor office. Because it happens a lot. Anyway, so, I send this print shop an email of my suggested negotiable rates for labor that I would do. Because basically, I would be, potentially, designing like flyers, business cards, it would be project based. And then also hourly, because this guy wanted me to also, like, redesign their website. Like, there was a lot of shit on the table. So I sent him, like, a pr propositional email of, like, a doc of all, like, my suggested rates. I gave examples of what projects would look like. So, I'm obviously not going to say what my rates were. Or wait, should I leak it? <laughs> Did I leak it? Obviously, if you're doing any type of contracted labor, you have to take into consideration, like, how much experience you have. You have to consider, like, how much a consumer would be willing to pay. Also, your professional and, like, personal experience. If you have a degree, if you have certifications. Um, you can leak it. I won't clip. Okay, so, obviously, I have a degree in graphic design. I am proficient in most every Adobe software. I am able to... Wait, I'm literally just reading off my resume. <laughs> um, I can work well. If I have a project, I will put everything into a project. Um, my starting rate was 25 an hour for anything I do within the project. I, I can actually look at the doc later. Because any if you are doing any type of freelance work, if you're doing... Especially with art, you have to be, you have to be very clear about your pricing. Because... Going back to the plumber analogy, if you get work done at home, you want to know every single thing that they're charging you for. Like, if you get a bill from your plumber that's $400, you will be like, HOW THE FUCK IS THIS $400?! So anyway, in that proposed, um, contract, it wasn't a contract, it was just a proposal for rates. Because if you're gonna get a contract involved for like a long-term contracted freelance agreement, you should have a lawyer involved, honestly. Um... Because... Oh, there's so much nuance to it. <laughs> um, anyway, so just to break it down, I had a baseline rate of $25 hourly, and that included consultation fees. So if a client wanted me to make a custom poster and they wanted to have like a Zoom meeting or an in-person meeting, it would be $50 for the meeting because it would be an hour meeting and then an hour prep for me to like have sketches and thumbnails made, maybe a potential like uh, Google slide document or something. So $50 for every single consultation meeting or briefing about a potential project, it would be $50 to $100 for concepting and draft one, 
because whenever you're making drafts, you have to consider the you have to consider the time it takes to make like thumbnail sketches, outlines, just sketches, layouts, different versions like concept art, um, and then also. And then whenever like draft one is done, we would either arrange a meeting, which would be $25 an hour for that meeting, or um, just an email and like a written response. And then to create a final, it would just be baseline $25 an hour just to like crack the final. So if the final took three hours, it would be $75 minimum. And then revisions would be $50 per revision. Because revision can either mean, like, adjusting the size of text, or it can mean re-illustrating the whole fucking thing. So, per revision, I propose $50 per revision. And then, that's it. That was basically the pricing I did. Now, obviously, whenever you're creating pricing for any type of freelance work, you have to look at um, regional pricing. Like, any advice to any artists out there, look at what like just find a local um design studio and look up what they pay their workers look at what their required credentials are like let's say for example um studios in seattle okay everybody knows where seattle is right it's like the main city in washington so if you look at like designers wages in seattle they range between 25 to 35 dollars an hour depending on what they do so entry level is about 25 and that is typically for one who has like a degree or certification in the arts. And then someone who has five to 10 years seniority would probably charge 35. So like, obviously I live in a state where the minimum wage is $16. So if you live in a state where your minimum wage is $10, um, your hourly rate is probably gonna be lower, but it's just something to keep in mind. Did he not like your rates? He didn't email me back. I gave him a phone call because I waited a few days. I was like, hey, like, did you get my email? Like, if you if you like this, we can go ahead and proceed with like drafting out a contract. Like I can get in contact with um like your lawyers or I can get myself a personal lawyer. And he was like, uh, maybe we'll do that. But he's like, I don't see why we need to make a contract. And I was like, on the phone, I was like, okay, um, well, we'll be in contact then. I'll, I will get back in contact whenever you have like a contract ready then. And he's like, no, I don't, I don't think I want to do a contract. And I was like, okay. And I, I think we just talked casually after that on the phone for a little bit, because like, he's a really friendly guy. Like, you know, a lot of local business owners are like the nicest people you ever meet for the most part. Um, and then he never called me back. And I keep on tabs with their business and they still don't have a designer and it's been eight months. Um, and... <laughs> What I have seen is that the owner has, like, made posters for people. And let me just say, they are not good. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's their business. They can do what they want. Um, verbal contracts are still legally binding, but yeah, harder to prove. Exactly. Like, especially... Yeah, I would definitely need some type of written or signed contract for any type of work like this because as a creative contracted labor is very tricky because like let's say i get contracted to do like design work like like advertising for um like a fashion design like in their contract they could have a clause that says, Oh, Peason, you can only do work with our company. You cannot do any other freelance work. Gotta go. Bye, Ethan. Like, and I, I was trying to explain this to the guy on the phone. I was like, uh, you know, if we're going to proceed with this arrangement, I think it's best that we do get a contract because um, as a creative, like, if I'm going to be doing full-time hours for your establishment, like, we need to have, like, some type of copyright clause in place. Like, would I be able to, would I be credited for my work? Would it be under your company's name? Would it be under my name? Like, there's so many different nuances if you're gonna be doing freelance as a creative. So, yeah, it, it just fell through. He never got back to me. And you know what? That's just what happens sometimes. 
you know, sometimes you... Things don't work out, and that's fine. But yeah, that was the last time I had, last time I had, like, ever genuinely tried to get in the scene. But you know, this time... <laughs> you know what's really funny? You know what's really funny? Uh, I reached out to, like, obviously, I don't know. I don't know if I'd ever want to work for, like, more established corporate company. Because I don't want to be a cog in a machine, you know what I mean? Also, I don't think working at like an entry level, like fast food or grocery would be good for me either. Because at this point in my life, I'm 25, I have a degree. I feel like any job I do, I should learn something. You know, I worked three years at Subway, I learned a lot. I don't think me returning to like McDonald's or something would help me learn. So, and like my sister agrees with me on this. She was like, I understand that, like, if you and I are gonna have to move out by next year, obviously, peace and you need a job or YouTube needs to work out. And I was like, don't you worry, I'll get my YouTube clout in six months, don't you worry. Guys, peace in 17 for Hidden Gem 2024, we need it. Um, but yeah, if I'm gonna get a job, whether obviously it'd have to be part time, I don't think I would ever want something full time, I don't think my body could handle it. Um, if I'm gonna do something part-time, I want it to be in the field or in, like, the related field. Because I have such little time throughout my day where I can be active and on. In both the sense of, like, obviously streaming and then also, like, just working. Like, out of my normal day, there's probably, like five peak hours where I can, like, perform my best. So, in tandem. It would not be wise for me to pursue something full-time, because, like, it would break my brain. Oh, but anyway, so, like, I've been reaching out to a few local places, you know, sending cold emails, making phone calls and stuff. You know, rizzing as usual. And it's really funny. Because, <laughs> um... In the emails, like, obviously if you have a cover letter and resume, you can kind of keep them very similar. You just gotta change certain adjectives and descriptions and names to match the actual website or job listing you're trying to apply for. Uh, it's really funny, because... <laughs> in all of my emails, I'm, I'm like... One of my selling points is like, you know, I... I have my own... I've been producing and editing my own personal content or videos the past three years. <laughs> and I'm just hoping and crossing my fingers they don't find my Twitch channel. Wait, I think I got fourth? Fuck. Yeah, so TLDR, that's why I deleted the tweet. Because, like, if, if somehow they found... If they found my... 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 Social media... But, like, I also use, because, like, obviously, use a separate email whenever you're making job applications. That way you don't, like, like, get spam emails. Like, you know when you sign up for, like, LinkedIn or Indeed, you get, like, five promotional emails every day? I just open a new email account. Anyway. Me and my sister should be fine. We should be okay. But if I don't make either livable income from streaming or art in the next uh, six months, we'll say. I have to pursue something part-time. And that can also just mean like going like full hard on freelance. Like actually making a GFX account. Ew. <sighs> Or maybe it would mean, like, opening commissions for real, for real. Ooh, Animal Crossing, I'm gonna win! But, you know, either way, I'll be fine. 
I always find a way. I'm like a cockroach. <laughs> I'm locked in. Lie for my bed, everybody. I'm getting rid of their protection. <gasps> you are such a jerk! <laughs> I'm so angry. I got... I let my feelings get in the way. Jackass. Oh, I hit one of them. Watch this. Like, literally kicking my feet in the air, and I'm right by my mic. <laughs> Here in bed, just got these new Egyptian sheets. Oh my god, that's the dream. You know the moment I got higher thread count sheets? I can't go back. When I get my millions, I'm gonna get the botanical Lego set and Egyptian million thread sheets. Dude, I swear to God, I swear on everything I love, I did not throw that race on purpose. Like, that was... That was legit, like, me just flubbing. I wish, I wish I threw on purpose again. But I don't. Okay, I'm locked in. I am locked in. I'm literally gonna win. I can't believe I had like top three for almost the entirety of that race. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna talk. I'm locking in. What even hit me? Oh wait, why'd they stop? Why'd they stop? Wait, I'm scared. 
Ooh, bob -omb, not the best protection item. But you know what, that's true. No, it, I'm so D.O.M. Huge difference. Redeeming it because I want a better item. Oh! <gasps> lucky! Lucky, lucky! And you know what? As one final screw you. Holding the coin! Holding it! I'm holding! Can we get some W's and shit? Wait, I just realized I've gotten two first places today and it's both on this track. How am I so good at this one but so bad at Excite Bike? Wait, I just realized my rank is 7772. Oh no. Oh no. I think it's the same as when I started stream today. Dude. I almost had seven eight fifty earlier. Dude. Funny thing is, I don't want to work a regular job. I know. I just don't want to participate in capitalism, you know what I mean? I tr I wrote this down. Wait, can I be, like, sad and vulnerable? <laughs> I've said something similar to this on stream before. It'll be in a Tic Tac clip soon. But let me see if I, if I can actually find the notepad. Okay, I found it. I'll read it after this race. Not this track again. <sighs> anyway. I just feel... Like, if America truly is the world of freedom... Like, why are we, like... Such under the control... Of our employers, our government... Our ability to have our basic fucking rights that we need to live. I'm not saying that, like, everybody should pursue their dream. Oh, wait, no, that's- wait, that's- I worded that completely wrong. I am saying people should be able to pursue their dreams. <laughs> okay, reset. Reset. I can- what I was trying to say was, I understand that in order to achieve your dreams, sometimes you have to do shit you don't want to do. Like, sometimes you gotta work at Subway for three years only for it to break your fucking brain. But anyway. I genuinely do believe if people had the time or money or resources concerning money to, like, pay for things they want to pursue genuinely, then I do believe that things would be better for everybody. Because not everybody wants to be an artist, not everybody wants to be a baker. But like, why not let the creatives truly pursue what they want to do? Like, especially when in the States, like, so much of our education budget is screwed. So much of the arts budget is cut for both, like, visual, musical, and performing arts is always cut, like... I think it's so funny because we're cutting back on funding for the arts, and isn't that literally cutting back on free speech? Anyway. I fucking hate this game. I'll do like two more races. Anyway, so this is something... Oh my god, I wrote this text note on February 28th, and I wrote this on the bus. Now, the reason why I quit my job 
back in 21. I didn't quit. I gave my employer like a one month notice. But the main reason why I had to stop working is because I wanted to finish up my degree. I was failing my classes and it was literally breaking my brain. I was only getting paid $15 an hour to manage two locations, working 70 hour weeks, when the minimum wage was $13.50. I didn't know any better. Anyway, this is a text note I wrote to myself back in February this year. And this, I think, perfectly articulates like how I feel about it now. I wrote, customer service was fun, but also degrading. It was hard when I already felt so low of myself and most everyone. Managers, higher-ups, gen population, like customers, treat you as lesser. It was almost like the world was reinforcing what I already felt about myself. I won't return to that field so I can protect myself from feeling that way again. Like, shit. Like, if you've ever worked entry level, I'm sure you can resonate with that sentiment. Like, genuinely, my last few months of working at Subway, it broke my brain so much. It was probably the worst I had ever been mentally in my entire life as a 22-year-old at that point. But anyway, like, I, I genuinely, I can't go back to a work environment where you're not respected by anyone, where you're not respected by means of your compensation. L. I worked at Amazon for three years and it made me realize that I never want to participate in capitalism again. Ain't it so funny, like, Twitch is an Amazon company. <laughs> I talk so much shit. Wait, I'm locked in? Sixth place? Ain't no way. My dream job would be though like the easy answer would be live streamer but like how practical is that like the moment i turn 30 everybody's gonna click unsubscribe unless they like milfs anyway like i obviously want to keep streaming for as long as i can but like the practical side of oh my god lightning bolt <laughs> the practical side of me is like you can't do this forever like you're not you're not um <laughs> that is the plan <laughs> I mean, you guys gotta click subscribe and then get all your family and all your friends to click subscribe, you know? Like, the emotional side of me is like, yes! <laughs> the emotional side of me is like, yeah, PC, you can do it! You can do whatever you want to! But then the practical side is like, if you want a home by the time you're like 30, like... You gotta be taking your life more seriously. And I mean that in the sense of I need to be putting more work in. A job I would like to do is making videos about experimenting with different types of food. Oh, that's so cute! You know what? Fuck it, do it. Shia LaBeouf, just do it. I I've been saying this from the jump. If anybody wants to pursue something creative- ah! <laughs> Just do it! If you truly want to do something, like, if you feel it in your heart, in your mind that you want to do it, or that you want to try and do something, just fucking do it. What's the worst that'll happen? You'll fail? But you know what? Everybody fucking fails at what they do. Just do it. Shia LaBeouf, just do it. It doesn't matter if people don't watch or consume it. It doesn't matter if you don't make money, as long as you enjoy doing it, that's all that truly matters. Like, I want you guys to think, every single small streamer either streams for 10 years or they stream for a year and quit. You know, I'm at that three year mark so we don't know which one I am yet. I haven't quit. 
Okay, I'm now laying on my tummy again. I'll do a few more races. Because, <sighs> you know, there's some creatives who don't gain popularity until they're fucking old or until they're dead. Like... And the world is so big, especially with online spaces, there will be somebody. There will be one person who will like what you do. It's kind of like the people who think, oh my god, I have like five soulmates out there. It's the same thing with creative outlets. There will always be someone who will love what you do. I'm locked in. Um, guys, type 1 if you love my stream. We're doing a little experiment right now. And I don't mean just like this stream, I mean in general. <laughs> this one's been pretty shit! I, di I did get two first places today, I did. Just guess! I'm not gonna lie, you're calling me out again? I feel like I got more than one soulmate? No, like, literally, there's billions of people on this earth. You have to have more than one soulmate. Like, it could be someone that lives in a foreign country. You never know. Statistically, there has to be, like, many people for you. Thank you. I'm glad I didn't see a single two. If I saw a single two, I would have ended stream. I'm feeling evil. Peason's telling me to cheat? No! No, that is not what I'm saying. I'm <laughs> I was targeting the soulmate comment to those who feel like sad and alone. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to throw! I'm so stupid! <laughs> Wait, if I get first? If I get first place right here, I will give... <gasps> I did not throw on purpose. I, 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 I got really scared. I, I never get first on this track. I just genuinely got really nervous. I should not have gone for that alternate path. It was not worth it. Hmm. I'll do one more race. I think, Mars, you said you work at a grocery store. So I assume you know, like, how to mass-produce food. And that in itself... It doesn't matter if a lot of it is prepared or, like, pre-sauced. It's a lot of prep work. It's a lot of, like, intensive work. So, like, if you want to, like, make a cooking series, go for it. You got the skills. And ultimately, it would still be a learning experience. Like, if you're learning how to film, learning how to produce... Because I think if anybody has, like, a transitional or a job that you'll be at for a while, like, still try to learn something from it. Apply it somewhere. I don't know much about, like, the cooking scene online. But it seems like a lot of people still gravitate towards personality for most anything. 
That's the one thing. Wait, is this mirror mode? I make toasters? <laughs> Wait, do you really? No, what the fuck? I'm locked in. I feel like, Kim, you've said you do a lot of things for work. And I think all of them are like little lies because you truly are a CIA agent and you can't reveal that in the chat. That's my conspiracy theory. I'm feeling devious. lap two. I'll read your message in a second, Mars. It's just more than seven lines, so I can't read it because my chat is zoomed in a lot. I promise I'll read it. And if I don't read it, you can politely cancel me. Wait, fourth place? Jack <laughs> I feel like I'm just swearing a lot today. You know, I haven't played Mark on stream in a long time. It's been a month. I didn't mean to throw. Okay, I'll take a fourth. I'm done racing for now. My eyes hurt. Okay, now... I will give you guys my full care and attention. Let me read chat now. I work at... Oh, I won't say the business name. I work at this grocery chain. But before I even started working at a grocery store, I knew how to make you food. Because I lived in a house of six at one point. So my mom taught me how to make big amounts of food. Aww. That's so cute. That you want to pursue food more, though. I do wonder how much of, like, our upbringing affects, like, our interests and passions. Like, my mom. She was always having us do, like, crafty things. Like, you know, little art projects and painting and stuff. And even when I was, like, little, little, like, young, young. I was like, I want to be an artist. I want to be a fashion designer. Like, I do wonder, like, if my parents made me, like, a little sports kid, but, but I want to be an athlete. I, I wonder how much of it is, like, innate, and then how much is, like, learned. I do know that, like, different parts of your brain, like, affect, like, some of it. I'm like, man, can I have been 
part of the Seahawks? I don't know. I think it's like 70-30. I might have to like look it up. There's gotta be some like papers on it or something. But then you also gotta think of like, how would they actually study it? Like, you don't wanna be isolating kids, you know what I mean? I know a lot of behaviors just learned. Like, a lot of, like, abusive behaviors and a lot of um, violent behaviors are learned behaviors for the most part. That's why generational trauma is very prominent and very hard to get out of. But in terms of passions, I do wonder. I know that it's like that for me because my dad threw me into technology for a good chunk of my life and I gravitated to be more artistic. Damn it, we could have had another STEM girly. <laughs> I don't think my parents ever put me into like any extracurriculars because we were brokies. But we just did a lot of stuff at home. I almost did go to a STEM high school. Yeah, we also had like an art high school for us too, but like... It was out of town, you had to pay to get into it, so my mom was like, Nah, you're going to public school. You're gonna take AP classes, and then make the government pay for your AP exam. Did you broke. I was like, yes sir. Man, out of all my AP exams, I only passed... Wait. I only failed two. I took six total in my high school career. And you know what? I didn't use any of them in my college because none of them- I went to like an artsy college, so <laughs> they didn't take any of the AP scores. But you know what? Since I'm disabled, I got the majority of my student loans completely forgiven. W button! Now we just need Mamala to like forgive all the Parent Plus loans and then I'll be in the clear. Because the only loan I have left is Parent Plus, but it's in my dad's name. So... But I'm still paying it off because I don't want to deal with that drama. My little sister got into one of the best performing arts high schools. Wait, that's great. Okay, well guys, what time is it? It's 5.30. I should go eat dinner. So, I'm gonna wrap for today. Thank y'all for hanging out and chilling. You know what's funny? The only streams where I have my viewer count on is sub-only streams because I hide the VOD after. I look at my analytics after, but like, how, how, what in tarnation? How do we get eight viewers today? Like what? That's more than the fucking normal streams. Guys, should I just do sub-only? I didn't get into food until one day. I was like, let me experiment with cooking for myself. <laughs> and then after that, I found it was my main thing. Well, you know what? Keep doing it. Even if you don't like produce things, like just make shit at home. You know, if you work at a grocery store, I assume you get a coupon or discount. Like use any money that you would save on buying regular groceries to buy a product to like, you know, test out and tinker with. And if you do want to start making videos, do it on TikTok. YouTube Shorts also is really popular for food content. Oh, Instagram Reels too. Hmm. Okay, anyway. Thank you guys for watching. That was me live from my bed. Um, I don't know how often I'll do it from my bed. It's just I was really tired. I did a lot of editing today. And then I also, because I usually exercise more intensely in the evening, so like doing it in the morning is annoying. Yeah, I do agree. There's like a lot of pompousness in the food industry. But I think it's because like a lot of people like think they go to culinary school and think they're the best. 
But more often than not, if you work in a like an actual kitchen, you're probably gonna know a lot more than somebody who made pastries all day for six months. But I think if you do the angle of, hey, I'm gonna try and do this fusion food, or I'm gonna try and make like, like blackberry flavored cinnamon rolls, cause why not? Like if you try and do fun shit, then you're not marketing yourself as a pro, you know? I got a call, what did I miss? Um, what did you last chat about, Kim? Oh yeah! <laughs> Kim, I said, I said... I said earlier, you say you do so many different things for work that I'm convinced you're secretly a CIA agent who can't actually, like, leak what you do for work. <laughs> uh, type what if you're secretly a CIA agent? Let me find a different song. Anyway, what was I saying? Okay, I'll be live again tomorrow morning. I work at Popeyes? No, you said that before you got fired. <laughs> but you know that's a good cover up. I won't. I won't ever leak. Even though it is sub only, I assume the CIA still watches. Uh, I'll be live again tomorrow morning. It will probably be the same time slot, nine to ten, and then. I think, because I have to do something tomorrow afternoon, and then Friday morning I have to do something. So we'll still do We Fit every morning, or every day for the next seven days. Last day will be Sunday. And then I think our next evening sub-only stream will be Thursday. So if you like the vibes today, uh, make sure you got noties turned on. And you know what? Maybe I'll do more from my bed streams. Otherwise, it was okay, right? What do you guys think? I feel like it was just like a normal sub only stream. Like, I play Mario Kart, I goof and gaff. I actually. Excuse me. I actually did get two first to. First. Fuck. My speech gets worse near the end of the day. I did actually get two dubs today, so it's huge. Um. Yeah, W. Thank you. Yeah. Because, like, I obviously don't want to stream from my bed, but. You know. I, the main reason why I'm streaming from the bed is because when I'm tired and also like I just don't have my regular stream space. The Wii Fit takes up so much space in my room. Wait, no, the thing like that I'm actually so sad about if I have to move is I don't want a small bedroom. I like having a big bedroom. <laughs> like, I like not just having the bed take up the whole room. You know what I mean? I'm just hoping in the next year I either sell, like, ooh, how many paintings would I have to sell? Mm. Doo -doo. I would have to sell a lot, huh? Student math. To make livable income. I opened my gallery, not the camera app. Let's see, 2,000 divided by... Average ticket, let's say 50. 40 orders a month? Fuck! <laughs> Dude, 40 orders a month? Holy shit. How could I do that, though? Hmm. I gotta move soon, and I want to get a bedroom that's big enough to accommodate my stuffy problem. <laughs> yeah, you gotta make it big enough so you don't gotta turn them away. <laughs> and 40 orders a month, how can I do that? I think, genuinely, in order for me to, like, be more successful with the art stuff, because, to be transparent, I've had 13 sales, or not sales, I've had, I think, 5 sales, transactions, and the 13 items sold. Um, and that's only from Kim and Mac. <laughs> Shout out! W Kim, W Mac. Um, <laughs> um, but you are right. Like, trying to get on TikTok shop is good. But, um, I, I just really hate how, like, AI is becoming so prominent. Like, I genuinely hate. I don't want to participate in posting my artwork on social media knowing that it's going to be scaps, scalped. 
you know, and stolen. It, it hurts me so much. But, I don't know. And I've explained this before, but like, having to make content surrounding art felt so like... Soulless is not the right- I'm gonna change the song. This is not the good song. It felt so... It didn't feel right. Because I, I only made two videos concerning art. And they were both shorts where I did like a short like 40 to 60 second monologue over like footage of me painting. And those videos did pretty decent. Like on both TikTok and YouTube shorts for being like the first two videos I posted on those separate accounts. But, I don't know. Maybe an art selling community on Reddit? Wait, uh, send me a thread and I'll look into it. I don't have a Reddit at all. Like, it, it's a matter of, I know what I need to do. But it just doesn't feel... good to do. It'd be different if it was like, if I was promoting like, a product. Like something more practical, then it would make sense to advertise. Right, but when you're advertising yourself, and then also your self-expression... It just feels wrong to an, to an extent. I, I don't know, my, my feelings are very conflicted on it. It's very hard to articulate. Something that my therapist told me is that I over-explain. <laughs> and she didn't say it to be mean. She was just like, the way you like communicate is very particular and you don't need to be as clear as you think you need to be. And I was like, okay. Okay. <laughs> I think I just- I think I need to just make more shit. <laughs> she said shut up. <laughs> no, imagine. No, I'm right there, but she's really nice. She's really nice. Um, I think I just need to make more stuff. Because... I Also, I fixed my website again this morning. Because I failed to realize whenever I updated my pages on my top menu, it fucked up my footer menu. So I fixed that this morning. You know, I... There are some days where I'm like, you know, I could be doing more, I could be working more, but then there are some days where I'm like, you know, I'm doing... enough. I'm doing enough. And I'm not saying that to, like, be lazy in the moment or justify, like, resting a bit more. It's more like, you know, there are some people who can't do anything because either they're unable physically or mentally or they just don't have the drive. And as long as I'm doing something, I'm happy with that. You're doing enough, yeah. Like, I look back to my time, like, working at Subway. Like, I was fucking working 70-hour weeks. I was doing school. And I was failing at both at times. And now that it's been a few years and I can reflect on it, I'm like, you know, I just have to know my limits and I have to respect that. And no, legit, I think it's like when I turn 25 is when things start clicking. Like, I swear to god. Maybe I'm just wiser. But I'm old now! No! I'm old! Kim, why do you keep changing your badge? <laughs> be kind to yourself. I've gotten a lot nicer to myself. I used to be so mean to myself, but I was really nice to everybody else. Anyway, enough introspection. I'm looking around at all the badges. <laughs> I think, I don't know, because quarter four is coming up, starting in October. What should my plans be for quarter four for the art stuff? Ooh, I have an idea. So I'm like literally clapping my hands. <laughs> I have two ideas for upcoming art launch. I have sketches for both. It'll either be 4x4 four four mini paintings of undetermined design, or rather, I'm not gonna leak what the design is gonna be, or another one I've been sketching out 
is an illustration series called Wannabe Wallpapers, where it'll be like a Zen Doodly illustration inspired by like classic wallpaper patterns, like four by six illustrations or five by four minis. Like, I think the title Wannabe Wallpaper is really funny. Because I still want to commit to like one collection a month. I think I can do that. It'll just have to be like two or four pieces per collection. Or it'll just be like animal illustrations. I don't want to draw animals. Because I was a thinking about art. I had a phase for a long time where I was like, you know, I don't want to do things that are popular. I don't want to do things that are conventional. But now I'm kind of at a point where like, I just want to draw things that are pretty. Or nice to look at. Like, I think I want to get back into florals again. Like, I think... I think if I do 4x4 four four minis, it'll be like florals. Like, kind of like illustrated or abstract florals. Oh, I, I really want to do, like, mosaic themes. I'd have to check out the book about mosaics again. Like, I have so many different ideas. It's hard because, like, I want to do them all. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. By the end of the month, we'll see. Okay, I think I've stalled enough. I'd be apt long enough. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Thank you to those who are subscribed to my channel, keeping the channel alive. Genuinely, thank you. Um, you know, I know my channel is very small. I talk all the time about quitting jokingly. <laughs> but I, I won't quit on you guys. You guys will get a lot of notice if I do have to quit, but I won't. Even if Peason has to work part-time, I'll still stream. Because, you know, I've been doing it for so long. It's been three years. It's kind of hard to not see live streaming as a part that's no longer... Or it's hard to see live streaming as something that is not part of my life for a while. Not nah, hold up. Wait, what are we holding up for? You're not the crossing guard, right? Wait, no! I mean, yay! <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you, Mars. Can we get some Marcelines in chat? Thank you. Thank you. I'll clap. That was me clapping, not anything else. Told you I would do it. Wait, so that means you're not a liar. That means you have faith, trust, and pixie dust in yourself. We love that. But thank you, Mars. I'll do calligraphy tomorrow. Because I don't have a camera set up. I, I unplugged it. I'll do it tomorrow at the end of We Fit. I promise. My pinky is up to my laptop webcam. And I'm crossing it. But thank you Mars. I appreciate it. You are now number three on the leaderboard still. Also Twitch stop the bonus bits campaign at midnight. I am a fae. <laughs> no, I feel like... No, are fairies real? No, they're not real. I have a conspiracy. I think all the middle-aged white women who believe in fairies just, like, had gas leaks in their homes. We hate them? Wait, who do we hate? Wait, what? No, wait. Liars? We hate liars. Boo. I don't know. I feel like... I talk about shit so quickly on stream sometimes where like i'll say a joke and then you guys will like respond or react in chat and i just legit forget what i say it happens so often the bird go oh the bits going away okay <laughs> birds like what <laughs> yeah they only had it for a week but you know okay twitch staff I don't know if you can watch subscriber-only streams. 
But last year, when they said that subscriptions will be discounted for gifted subs at the end of the month, they sent out an email at the beginning of September to creators. I did not get that email this month. So, guys, I don't know if Twitch is going to do discounted subs this year. I don't know. Okay, also, we've been listening to the song for like fucking 10 minutes. I'm gonna hang up your painting in my cubicle. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. And you know what? The watercolors actually have a border so you can use thumbtacks with no worry. Wait, chat. This is something that I will leak exclusively for sub only stream. I don't know if I said this on stream before, but something that I think would be really cool and girly pop is to obviously make art, right? And then, in the future, I make press on nails that are inspired by my art. Thoughts. Because then I could easily charge 30 to $60 per cent. And if like wearable art, like jewelry, is very popular, because obviously people can see it, it would be good for branding. It would be good for word of mouth. Because you know when you ever see like a girly's name, you're like, oh my god, where'd you get it done? You know? Now, no, not $30 per nail. <laughs> It would be per set, you dumbass! <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's what you meant, but $30 per nail? That would be insane. Because <laughs> um, I was thinking about it. No, don't clip that! <laughs> Because, like, a usually... Okay, I've never gotten my nails done, so, like, I don't know the actual marker rate. But the huge difference between selling, like, press-ons and then... Like, getting your nails done, like, charging for, like, an actual salon visit... Is that in order to do, like, professional, like, putting nails on people, even putting polish on... Like, you have to have certification. But if you are selling pre-painted press-on nail kits that you paint at home and safely produce, like cleanliness, you don't need certification. Because my initial thought was, wait, if I, if Peace and Ever does get popular, I think a really fun stream idea would be to rent out a salon for a, a weekend and then like have viewers come in and then I do their nails. But legally you can't do that because you're not an esthetician, Is if that's the right word. So, I would not be able to do that stream unless I hired professional certified nail artists. Like, I legally would not be able to paint people's nails. So I was like, shit. But if I did press-ons and sold them, that would be technically be legal in my state. Obviously, it depends on what state you live in. But in Washington, if you sell press-ons, you do not need a license to sell. I would wear though. See, I think that would be a banger idea. But that would take a lot of capital to invest in, because obviously you need to buy base nails. I would need to buy... I would need to buy completely new polishes for sanitary reasons. I'd have to buy PPE, like masks and ventilation equipment. I'd have to get filers. Like, totally new equipment and product. <laughs> Nailing my viewers for lush! <laughs> Wait, that's a great title. <laughs> now, let's be honest, I would have come up with that myself. Yeah, I think that would be a really fun, like, either one-off stream event, or, like, just an ongoing product. But obviously, how much would I need to invest in that? So that would probably be, like, at least a thousand dollars. I could get a business loan, don't worry. Wait, I actually could get a business loan, that's what's crazy. Because, you know, I'm trying to get, like, an actual formal business bank account, and dude, it's so easy. It's so easy. I still gotta set up my appointment, though. I keep forgetting. But, yeah. So that's something that I think 
obviously I would not be able to do until until I have capital to invest in like a more physical product like that. But I think that in itself would be successful. Anyway, I, I'm hoping I can launch that idea. Mm. Because earlier I was talking about like my like ethical concerns of like marketing my artwork. Because one of my quotes that I have is <laughs> I brought the wrong phone to bed. Wait, you brought your burner? SMH. Oh, I brought my work phone and not my personal phone? Wait, did you leave your actual phone at work? No. No. Anyway. Because uh, one of my main quotes is that whenever you make art, you're giving away a piece of yourself in terms of like your personality, your time, your expression. And I think marketing nails, I would feel less guilty about. Because that in itself is just consumerism. That's less expression and more consumerism, right? Or it would be fully expressional for the consumer, but for me, it would be production and expression versus artwork, where to me, it's full expression. Anyway, I'm hoping to launch Nails. Obviously, I have to do more research into it. I have to... Because the only license you may need to sell press-ons would be... You might need a... Oh fuck, what's it called? A redistribution license? Because if you aren't making your press-on, like, plastic nails in-house, then you sometimes need a license to redistribute somebody else's product. Even if you're transforming it, if that makes sense. It depends on what state you live in, you need different licenses depending on, like, how you produce things, basically. Because, you know, they're trying to... Uh, restrict us small, small business owners by making us pay exorbitant license fees over here. Wanna try it out? Yeah, honestly, I would probably try out, try out, like, I'll buy, like, a few pieces for myself to wear, and then, depending on how much I like it, like, actually, like, producing it, I, I think that would be good to launch in, uh, let's say Q225. So by like March or April next year. Oh wait, we launch them on my birthday and we do like a birthday set. Wait. Wait. Mm. Yeah, so anyway, that's what I like. I think that'd be good to invest time and money into. Because that's an easily consumable product in the sense of like more people would want to buy something like that. And you know what? I'll say it. If we have any viewers who want to be testers of that product, I will ask on stream whenever that time arrives. You know what? Handshakes. I'll have like five viewers test it out. But then you guys have to promise to actually buy some if you like them. <laughs> you guys have to promise! <laughs> Logging myself in right now. Yeah, you'll get first cue. You'll get first pick. Anyway, enough yapping. I've said enough yapping like 20 minutes ago. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go eat dinner. Have a good night. Thank you for watching. You know, I didn't rank up in Mario Kart, but I got two dubs. W streamer. I'll take some. Mars, you're second on the list. You're second. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow with more We Fit You. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you for hanging out. Hope you guys had fun. Also, I think I was just zooted on sugar. I'm so annoyed. My roommate, he's he's nice. He's super nice. But for the past two weeks, he's brought home crumble cookies. Like I don't need them, but like I have to eat them. So I had one of the cakes. And goddamn it was good. <laughs> Don't eat them. I know. 
I know. But they're nasty. <gasps> you are not invited to the Crumble fan meetup. I'm sorry. Nah, only a couple of their cookies are good. Their chocolate-based cookies are ass. Only the fruit cookies. The berries and cream one? Holy shit. That one is so good. It's so good. Never had crumble? Ooh. If you're a baker, you'd probably fucking hate crumble. I'll be honest. They're basic? No, you're right. I think the reason why crumble is so good is because the novelty of it. Like, checking every week to see their rotating flavors. Like, most every other, like, local bakery chain, they just have, like, the same things every week. Like, there's this one ice cream shop. It's a local one, so I can't leak. But every single month, they have, like, four new flavors that are gone at the end of the month, and I love it. Granted, I don't go every month, but I still like how there's always a changing menu. Because then it encourages repeat customers. Six dollars for a cookie is crazy. I know. That's why, like, I haven't bought 